Our Working for Kids program is an educational program. It's developed to translate brain science, neuroscience, to the public who could care less about neuroscience, but they really want to be able to help kids. So we had this idea, but we didn't know how to go about talking to the public about it. Pinch helped us take what we had as an idea and put it into action. It linked us up with business leaders, both advisors at the university and around Pittsburgh in general. This problem of translation is a, a reoccurring problem and something difficult and I think that it was nice to be a group of neuroscientists that was being helped and being coached by a group of people in the industry. The pinch funding was really critical for us to be able to do this initial pilot work that's necessary for you to be able to apply for you know larger sums of money to do a larger larger study to see what are the impact on health outcomes. We have a lot more people thinking about brain development and really trying to create environments for children that will build sturdy brain pathways. As of the end of June, Working for Kids spun out from the university and it became a company of its own. It's now Working for Kids Building Skills LLC. And within a couple weeks, we got our first contract with the state of Texas. We've sold them home visitor toolkits. Those are educational toolkits where they can take the education out to people in their homes. And we'll have hundreds of home visitors in Texas using it within the next couple months. One of the things that we're asking at the six month follow-up is, have you, based on your training, what kind of things are you doing differently? That's been very exciting to listen to parents' stories about how they are thinking about things differently. I think it should just be an example that you can put real science in the hands of people and if they're taught well, they're gonna do great things with it.